Praise the Lord, Christian friends. Today's devotion is entitled The Sure Foundation and is taken from 2 Timothy 2 and 9 and Romans 10 and verse 17. 2 Timothy 2 and 9, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. Romans 10 and 17 says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We cannot overstate the importance of the word of God in the life of believer. Romans 10 verses 14 through 17 emphasizes this and also reveals the need of preachers in the world today. We need witnesses so that the faith of people can be built on the sure foundation of the word of God. Today, while some preachers minister as oracles of God, others do so as orators, teaching human philosophy and traditions of men. But Paul warned against this in 1 Timothy 1 verses 4 and 7, as well as Titus 1 and 14. Today's memory verse tells us clearly why we must be careful of any teaching that does not warn against sin. Such is not from God, and living by this foundation keeps you from sin. Today's Bible reading has many lessons for us. It is first the, the wisdom to walk according to the word of God. Some people will say the Bible is too old to, to offer solutions to the present world's issues. But what did Jesus say concerning the word of God? He said, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. That's Matthew 5 and 18. So there will be trials and persecutions against your faith. But however, God's word is a sure anchor. And Jesus assures that the house that is built on the sure foundation of the word of God shall stand. It is foolishness to equate the word of man with the word of God. And the word of man has no sure foundation. Therefore, any house that is built on human philosophy will, will crumble in the face of a storm. So, beloved, are you building your house of faith on the solid and infallible word of God? Or are you building on sandy soil of the ideology of man? Think about it now and take a decision to walk only by God's word. Make this your prayer. Father, by your spirit, may I be more devoted to studying the word of God and living by it. Build on a sure foundation, which is the word of God. Have a blessed one.